Right, I'm here in my Schoology resources, and I've got a number of Schoology test quizzes. That's this old green icon. I've got Schoology assessments, which is the newer format. I've got question banks, and, and those are basically questions that can be used in the old test quiz. That's this one. And then you'll see some with this icon, which are called item banks, and those are made up of questions that could be used in assessments. So Schoology has these different formats. And sometimes a teacher, uh, working with another teacher, they might have a number of assessments. And you can see on my screen, I've got several different assessments. And I might want to share, um, share all of the questions in an assessment item bank. But there's not an easy way to do that. So what we're going to do in this video is show you, you know, if you are working with some other teachers and you've got a number of assessments and you want to put them all in an item bank so you can all share the wealth, how do you do that? Well, the first thing you want to do is save them all somewhere in your resources. So you may not know about this, but I Schoology has what's called collections. And so usually teachers just work in their home collection and that's all the stuff you see. But um, I created a collection just for this purpose. Um, and you can just click this little button right there to add a new collection. But So I created a collection. And this is supposed to kind of show an example of here are some assessments that I've organized here. And the goal is going to be eventually I want these all to be in an item bank. So there's a couple steps in this process, uh, seven to be exact. So a couple is probably not accurate. But we're going to first convert these into Schoology test quizzes. So we're going to kind of go backwards. How do you do that? Well, you can export something and that's in this little downward arrow button there's an export option and you can export content out of Schoology as what's called common cartridge it's IMSCC you don't even need to know what that means and I can't tell you off the top of my head what all those letters stand for but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to export um, those test quizzes and so I created a collection remember called export test and there's no folders in there. It's just two assessments in there. And if you did this, you might have 20 assessments in there. Maybe you're really trying to build an awesome big bank. So I'm going to export that. What that does is it's going to export it into an area in Schoology that you can access through your transfer history. Schoology gives you a link to get right to it. I'll also show you how you can find that sort of area in Schoology. What you can do is click on your name in the upper right and the settings, you have a tab called Transfer History. So I see my file already completed. So now this is just being saved somewhere within Schoology, and I need to actually um, download it onto my computer. Strangely enough, we're going to actually download it, and then we're going to re-upload it, and that will change it into a test quiz. So let's go through that quickly going to download this. This is just temporary. So I'm going to go ahead and just call it delete me. And I'm going to just put it on the desktop here. Remember, it's an IMSCC file. That's that common cartridge format. So there it is. Now, I'm going to go back to my Schoology resources. I, I just downloaded this. Now, I am now going to import this. Um, it's going to import as a um, test quiz. So kind of converted it. I do need to choose what type of file I'm importing. It, it's a little more here. It's the IMSCC file common cartridge. And I could put it in a new collection if I want to create one on the spot or an existing collection. Um, I created a collection just to import these, but you could put it anywhere right now. It's fine. Let me import this. And there's going to be no name. Oh, maybe I do need to pick a folder. Um, new test quiz files. Okay. And you do need to choose the file. And I am on my desktop. Yep, I'm going to pick that file called delete me. Remember, that was just that temporary file. And I say next. I have to click it too. So. It says it's currently being transferred into Schoology. Let me go to the import test. Sometimes these run pretty quickly. Here's these new test quiz files just added by me. If I open this, there they are. Okay. 
So we have now done the first part of the process uh, where we converted what was, it was some assessments. Let me go back and show you that. It was these two assessments. They are now test quiz. So we converted it. I've done some testing. It, it even saves thing like, things like images and that sort of thing. The formatting seems pretty good. Now here's the part that I feel like doesn't make much sense. Um, you actually cannot go from here and add these questions in these right into a uh, what's called a question bank in Schoology. You have to have these be in a course. So let's say you had a bunch of these. You can add them to one of your courses. So I'm going to add these um, to a demo course that I have. And I'm going to click Import. And it may take a moment, um, but if I go to my courses now, um, I'll see this. Now, at this point, I do want to say it's really nice to decide um, where do you want these questions to end up in the end. So I'm going to, before I go into the course where I just copy these, I'm going to go into my groups. And let's pretend that this is a group with another, well, we'll use this one. It's a demo group. So if I go to my members, um, oh, sorry, not my members, my resources, I could create right here, um, I could add a question bank, okay? And I'm going to do that. So this is an old test quiz question bank, but we're going to have to do that. So um, we're going to call this shared assessment, um, well, we'll just see questions to share and we'll create that so there's nothing in this bank yet but it's just the landing spot we're going to be adding questions to this bank so now let's go to that course where it's a demo course so here here are these last two i did this before to test but you can see so this is kind of going to be a one by one process now it's fairly quick uh, but you're going to go into each test quiz that you want to um, take all the questions and we're going to move them into the bank. So the way you do that is you click options, add questions to bank, and we're going to say, yep, we want all of these. It's going to give me a little bit of a second to load here. Okay, so I have to select a bank. And so the way I do it is I need to go, I could, you know, I can put it in my resources here, or I can go into a group. And so in the demo group, I have this, remember I just created that, that bank, questions to share. I'm going to add the questions to that bank. All right. So I'm going to go back to the materials and I want to, you know, go one by one. I'll also go into this quiz, test quiz. And if you had 10 or 20 of them, you could do this, each of them. You go one at a time. But you're basically saying, I want to take all these questions in this test quiz and I want to add them to that bank and so we'll take them all you can see there's different images and, and sort of or diagrams and things that's fine once again I'm, I'm gonna need to choose the destination bank for these I'll go into my demo group and questions to share it, it'll just know to kind of pop up the banks that you have as options to land so add those and again, you do this one at a time. So if you had several more test quizzes, just keep going through them and doing that. Now, let's take a look and see what, what happened. So let me go to the demo group and into the resources. And now questions to share. Remember, there was zero in there. Now there's 36 questions. So if I go in here, I can see all these different types of questions. Um, by the way, this process works for pretty basic question types like multiple choice, true, false, multi-select, essay, real basic fill in the blank. Uh, I think that's about it, about five different types. So now this is the old test quiz. So I could use this to build a test quiz. But remember, our goal is not that. Our goal is to actually make this into an uh, item bank for new assessments. And so this is the final step. You just click the gear and you convert this to an item bank. And we can leave it right here. Remember, this is just a group that all of us use. And so it's working on it. If I refresh this, we'll see how.
quickly it worked. Oh, not quite yet. Still thinking, we'll try refreshing one more time. I'm gonna pause this. It ended up taking me about, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds, and there it is. Now, it does have these identifiers like 2023 1016. I think this is a timestamp and some other coding. Thankfully, you don't have to leave this like this. You can edit. Um, and it'll let you change the name and description of that. So I could delete all of this. Questions to share. And this could be, you know, you could put a note about that, about our department um, or whatever it is you wanted to do. Maybe this is, um, you know, unit one questions and you want to create banks for every unit. That That's a really nice idea in Schoology because um, having those banks be labeled wisely and just be able to take questions from just within that unit and build assessments, that's awesome. So there we go. And if I go back to the resources of that group, I have now taken a bunch of assessments and now they're all in one bank. So until Schoology makes this process easier, this is the best way I've figured out to do this.